All right, welcome to another episode of Riffing It Right with Dave, Dave, Dave. and Wally. <laughs> so Dave, we've, we've done a lot of different videos how to flash a wall. I mean, right. there's all kinds of ways to flash a wall, mm -hmm. right? We're at, this wall is, what, eight, eight and a half foot tall, eight foot tall, roughly. So again, there's all kinds of ways to do a wall. Right, right here is kind of a traditional way. Some guys will do it. So what they'll do is they'll come up. What's our high wall termination, Dave? Uh, for wall termination, it's either a five foot sheet or six foot sheet, six inches on the deck. So we used a five and this is 54 inches. Yeah. So if you're using standard bonding adhesive, the bucket. solvent yeah, bucket yeah. adhesive up to, how was it, the height? 60? Well, we use a, a 60 inch sheet, which is a five footer. We have six, six inches, inches on, on the, the flat. Deck. So you're 54. Right. Up. The so at 54 inches, we need a mechanical termination. If this wall is 100 feet high, you could do a 100 foot high wall, but every 54 inches, you need termination. And there's a couple different ways to do this, which is what we did here. You can use a standard seam plate, Looks standard 12 inches on center, which might be tough to see, but yeah. we've got these 12 inches on center. Bring it down, lap it six inches, just like you would in the field of the roof. Right. Or you could use a piece of termination bar. Again, 12 inches on yeah. center, lap it six inches, go another 54 inches right. or 60 inches because you're losing six inches because right. you're lap, continue your way up the wall. Yep. Again, that's one way to do it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a Been lot doing of labor. It for years. Yeah. Yeah. And we this wall, the deck we're on, this thing's a hundred foot long. Now, could you do this in one sheet, a hundred feet? I mean, you could <laughs> if you got the ponies to do it. Right. Again, you need a lot of people. Yeah. And trying to keep the wrinkles out of the wall because everybody wants a nice looking wall flashing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's that's one option that you could actually do with this. So what's another option we can do, Dave? Well, you can use our quick spray. Our handy dandy quick spray. So mm -hmm. what's the height limitation on that? As high as you can work it. So, so there is no intermediate fastening, nothing in the seams, nothing here. You just up and then do your traditional top edge termination. Your coping cap. Whether it's a cap, whether it's a bar, whatever underneath the case uh, coping stone, whatever. Yeah. So you're telling me I can go as high as I want, I don't need any intermediate fast fastening on this wall flash? Nope, not with our uh, quick spray. So what about temperature restrictions on this? Temperature restrictions, 20 degrees and rising. Now, so, wait a minute though. That means everything has to be 20. Yeah. That means 20 degrees. When, it's not 20 degrees by noon. It's when you're starting that day, right? Yeah. Well, it's the sheet has to be 20, the substrate 20. Yeah. And we've done other videos on our quick spray, how yeah. to set it up, how to clean it, yep. you know, all that type of thing. So there's no sense in going over that. No. Hopefully people have watched that. Yeah. So on this setup over here, that's kind of what we're going to do here. Mm -hmm. So we've got, we've already got it welded down. We're six inches on the flat. We got our base attachment and we're going to run this up in one shot. Right. Now, again, it takes a few people to do, especially if you've got a longer sheet. We got a 10 foot wide sheet here. So right. we may enlist a couple guys to do this. So again, here's how we set this up. Because remember, we got to glue this up. We've got to try and get it up the wall with no wrinkles. So we're going to have to have a couple people try and work here. We want it tight at the angle change. Correct. Right. We don't want any bridging. So we're going to try and glue that up. We're going to go up a couple feet, glue the sheet a couple feet, get it going up the wall so we're nice and straight, no wrinkles, and we're going to just continue. I'm going to glue the rest of the wall and be done with it. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah, it'd be just like doing this. You yeah. have to work together yeah. to get it up. Try but the nice thing is you have no intermediate fastening, so you're faster. It's thinner, thinner coat than normally you put on with a, a roller, right? Yeah, again, there's going to be some people that I'll so never do this, which right. is fine. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Nope. However, however, suit your needs. Right. All right, so again, I'm just going to go up a couple feet mm -hmm. so we can get it started up the wall. Once that's set up, it will have more room to be able to work it and then work it up the wall. So make sure I get glue nice and tight down this angle change. So if it's a concrete substrate where it soaks anymore, you might have to do a kiss coat, come back and do a second coat. Again, mm -hmm. every job's gonna be different. All right, Dave, so we got this glued up and basically we have what, about roughly a 20 minute open time on this? Yes, we do. So you're gonna do the knuckle test, but right. again, we're in the shade here. If you were out in the direct sunlight, it's gonna set up a lot quicker. Oh yeah. But we have a standard, what, roughly 20 minute open time. So we're gonna start to run this up the wall. We're gonna have to get a couple more guys here, help us get it, just to get it up the wall, then we'll finish gluing it. Tell Pacino and Mitos, we got this started up the wall. Now I'm gonna glue the rest of the wall and the rest of the sheet. We might have to have those guys in and help us get it up the wall. So again, windy day. Guys, the reason this, you gotta be careful. You can see all that spider webs. It's real easy for this stuff to float away. But for gluing a wall flashing, especially if you're on a repair crew or something. Oh yeah. This is the way to go. You're doing pretty decent on that one inch overlap too, Wally. 
Let's say we get a little glue on the sheet. Is that a problem, Dave? No, it's not, but you have to wait till it dries. Yeah, let, the worst thing you do is run in and try and clean it up right now. Right. All right, Dave, with the help of our friends, we got this halfway up the wall, so now I got the rest of it glued. Probably have them come back and help us set it up the rest of the way. Now, this wall is not perfectly, I mean, you could stand there and have a conversation and it's waving down this. So, again, you're going to have to deal with that. You might get some wrinkles here and there. It's not the end of the world. No. You gotta take your time and work them out. Yep. All right, you guys done with your coffee? You come and give us a hand. Okay, so me and Mitos are going to kind of hold it out kind of tight and let these guys kind of work it up. You guys are looking good so far. Okay. Yeah. All right, Dave. Thanks for our two friends. We got this up the wall. Now, again, is this easier? I, it, it's all up to the contractor. Right. I mean, there's no intermediate fastening. Right. So you're saving on that. Yeah. I mean, which is labor, which is some material. And it's up to the contractor because exactly. you got to have maybe a couple more guys because you got labor to install this. But again, you're eliminating labor of the intermittent fastening and we can go as high as we want. That's right. There's no right or wrong way to do this. No. It's all an individual person, how they want to attack the walls. Exactly. Stay tuned for other videos with Riffin and Wright, Dave and Wally.